and I talk way too much. That way you'll hear my voice and go this way. No, don't go that way. When did the state take over? It was offered in 1952 per his wishes as a gift to the people of the United States. And it was turned down until 1957. And Why it was, was it turned down? Because he was considered very controversial. Remember, he opposes Hitler when men like Joseph Kennedy think he's great. Yeah. Hearst could never quite get a grip on that one. Uh, Hearst had read Mein Kampf when he was fairly young. Well, compared to Hitler, not young, but, but in his mind he was, I guess. And anybody who says that Hitler was a madman, it sells madman. Hitler wasn't mad at all. He just had different policy and to do things differently, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, if somebody's insane, maybe you can forgive them. I don't think Mr. Hitler has earned that many years. <laughs> Mr. Hurst was 6'3. He thought the mirrors were fine. <laughs> the average guest here was changing clothes seven to nine times a day, which would be the same at Newport, Rhode Island, or Long Island, New York. It doesn't make any difference. You cannot wear to lunch what you wore to breakfast. Somebody would speak to you. Uh, do you not have the wardrobe? Did you forget your wardrobe? Do you need additional wardrobe? Uh, lunch, breakfast, dinner, swimming, tennis, horseback riding. That's six outfits right there. That took no effort at all. Careful on your steps. Now, Hearst would never buy into the socialists or the communists. They plowed some of the same ground, but would be a different outcome.